good evening yeah so welcome to the post session conducted by uh, the gate academy so first of all i would like to yeah so is this audible yeah uh, first of all i would like to congratulate the students uh, who got a good rank in gate i mean good rank or good score whatever it may be and for those who students who uh, could not manage to get a good rank or good score in gate so don't worry there are many other opportunities apart from gate so so gate result has come so from now after 2 3 months so you will be having es exam in may i guess so after es isro will conduct a separate exam so if your concepts are good i mean if you uh, prepared well for gate and you could not manage to get a good rank in gate i mean you could not perform well in those 3 hours so for those students who could not perform well in those 3 hours so they are having many other opportunities apart from gate don't worry so isro will conduct a separate exam so bark already conducted a separate exam i don't know how many of you people gave so engineers india limited will also conduct a separate exam steel authority of india will also conduct a separate exam so ssc je so it will also conduct a separate exam so bel will also conduct a separate exam bdl will also conduct a separate exam don't worry so if your concepts are good you can uh, perform well in these exams and you can settle by this year so isro will be something uh, it will be around uh, september or so in the month of september maybe most probably in the month of september so bel will conduct after 2 3 months so competition in bel will be very less why because so only 2 year students are eligible so hil will also conduct a separate exam yeah good yeah now let's go into this uh, uh, pgg so we'll see what are the opportunities uh, you people are having those who got good score in gate so i divide this entire session into three modules so i divide this entire session into three modules so one is your higher education so if you got a good rank in get uh, your chance of going into an iit or nit to pursue your higher education and the second one is there is an option of research so on the third one is your uh, psu so i divide this entire session of post gate guidance uh, into three modules so we'll see one by one yeah in isro they don't give you um, so what is that calci is not allowed but they will set the questions in such a way that calci is not required there so now let us see one by one so how to um, one second excuse me so i divide this entire session into three modules we'll see one by one so what are the opportunities in higher education you are having so what are the opportunities in research you are having and what are the opportunities in psu you are having so there might be a confusion in students whether to go for this higher education or psu so make it clear that see here so if you want to go for a psu i mean you want to do mtech and after mtech if you want to go for a, a psu so then it's uh, not recommended to do mtech and then going for psu so you directly join a psu so after just after completion of your btech if your good get score is good you directly go for a psu instead of going for mtech and then going for psu you directly go for a psu so for those students who want to uh, enter into a private sector so those who want to enter into private sector it's recommended for them so better go for uh, an amtech in good iit so that you will be getting a good package so for those students who want to enter a private sector you go for this higher education and then you go for a job so for those who want to enter into psu so so no need of you going for higher education and then psu you directly go for this psu so why because just after complete, uh, once you join psu once you join psu if you serve there uh, for 3 or 4 years so they will sponsor you in some good iit or if you want to go for an iim they will sponsor you so there you can earn and learn also so so you can save a lot of money over there so now let us see one by one so coming to this higher education so coming to this higher education these are the options you are having in higher education so you can go, do your mtech ms and there are few integrated courses so here if you see this mtech and me and mtech there is no much difference between this me and mtech so these two are course oriented programs so there is no much difference between me and mtech but there is difference between your mtech and ms mtech and ms there is lot of difference between mtech and ms if you look at this mtech mtech is completely a course oriented program but if you look at this ms it's a research oriented program so we'll discuss the difference between mtech and ms in the next slide and apart from that you have a course that is integrated course integrated ms a phd integrated mtech and phd so we'll see what are the advantages of this course and what are the advantages of these courses and apart from that you have some management courses few iits are offering some management courses so through gate score you can opt this management courses also 
and you have some foreign opportunities so few universities in singapore and germany so they accept your gate score for hiring you so now let us see uh, one by one so first the difference between the, your mtech and uh, ms if you see the difference between mtech and ms so mtech i said it's a course oriented program so ms i said it's a research oriented program and if you look at this mtech so mtech is a fixed tenure is for fixed tenure so mtech this program so is for only 2 years so if i take this ms so ms so you will be learning few courses the courses are not that important here so the projects which you are doing are important here so here you will be learning only a very few courses maybe four or five courses so those four or five courses i mean which are related to your uh, project so you will be learning only those courses which are related to your project here you will be learning some uh, few courses so they might be independent of your project also here you will be learning only those courses which are interest which are depending which are related to your uh, project work and here you can publish papers here it's difficult to do that why because here you will be doing your project work only in one semester so here chances of publishing papers is very high i mean so you have a very good scope for doing research in ms and if you look at ms the tenure for ms is not fixed so it depends on the professor under whom you are doing this ms or uh, depends on the college or depends on the project uh, on which you are working so this ms course may go up to 3 years also so from 1.5 years to 3 years also so mostly uh, it will be of some 3 years mostly it's a 3 years course so ms will be a 3 years course and if i look uh, placement wise so if you look placement wise so mtech if you look at mtech so for mtech students so placements are very good so compared to your ms so most of the companies they don't prefer this ms students so they prefer only this mtech students so placement wise mtech is good but for research wise if you want ms is good so you can learn many things here so you can have some practical knowledge if you do ms so mtech placements are good so ms uh, related to placements are not good and if you want to go for a phd so phd so by mtech going for phd in some foreign universities or some iits so the chances are less so compared to your ms so student who did ms so scope for getting a phd is very easy i mean so since he might have published a few papers so the chances of getting a phd uh, opportunity for doing phd in good institute are more here so chances of uh, placement are more in mtech chances for a phd are more in ms so those who want to stay in academics so they can go for this mtech or so if those who want to go for really interested in research so on one day good college for doing phd either it may be in india or outside so better go for this ms and here if you see uh, one more course that is integrated course so if you look at this integrated course so those who are uh, really interested in doing phd they can go for this integrated course integrated is it might be an mtech plus phd or ms plus phd integrated course so here you can do this mtech so and then you can register for phd or by doing this ms you can later register for phd but if i do like this so here i spend some 2 years here i spend some 3 years so later apart from that so for phd also i need to spend some 4 years 4 to 5 years for phd so here also after completion of ms so if you if you register for phd you need to spend some 4 to 5 years so so minimum it will be 3 years it can go till 4 to 5 years also so 2 plus 4 years 3 plus 4 years so here it takes more time so if i if you people go for this integrated course so integrated course by going for this integrated course it might be mtech plus phd or ms plus phd if i go, if you people go for this integrated course so by doing this integrated course you can save time so you can get the same phd degree so instead of spending some 3 plus 2 plus 4 or 3 plus 4 so you can get the same degree in a minimum of some 5 years so just you spend some 5 years time so you will get uh, a phd degree if you go for this integrated course and uh, if you look at this integrated course very stu few students uh, will prefer this integrated course mtech plus phd so due to this reason so those students who did not get a good rank but they are interested in going to iit or iis so those who stu those students who did not get a good rank in gate but they still want to go to this iit or iisc so they can go choose this integrated uh, program so in integrated program in general category the rank may go till 4000 also so here 
so worse of the rank i mean if it's 3000 4000 so you can go for integrated courses in iit and nit so if the rank is some something around 2500 or 3000 it's very difficult to get an iit but for those students so who want to study in iit only so they can uh, take this integrated course so this is the difference between your mtech ms and integrated course now let us see uh, the admission procedure how the admission uh, procedure goes on in iits and nits so if you see the uh, procedure if you go for this mtech so if i go for a core branch if i go for a core branch like uh, your thermal engineering or machine design if you go for these core branches so you will be having direct admission so in most of the uh, iits you will be having direct admission but if you go for interdisciplinary courses if you go for interdisciplinary courses like aerospace engineering so if i go for if you go for this kind of courses if i go for this industrial engineering so industrial engineering aerospace engineering if you go for this kind of uh, interdisciplinary courses so for interdisciplinary courses you will be having a written test a personal interview and then you will be given an admission so if you go for a core core branch so of mechanical engineering so then you will be given direct admission in most of the iits so most of the iits you will get a, you will get a direct admission for core branches if you go for interdisciplinary courses then so written test and personal interview will be there so if you go for this integrated course also you will be having a written test and personal interview and if you go for this ms also ms also you will be having a written test plus personal interview and in few iits so in few iits so they don't consider the category for doing this ms so all are equal in few iits for this ms course so they don't uh, give any category preference for this ms so there might be preference for mtech there will not be any preference for this ms program and here for ms you will be having a written test and personal interview so wherever you go so mtech so for core branches so direct admission for interdisciplinary branches you will be having a written test followed by personal interview and if you go for any management course you will be having some group discussion also we will see that so this is the major difference between this your mtech and ms mtech and ms and integrated course everywhere you go you will be having a written test and so i have uh, given a list of few colleges so rank wise i have uh, categorized the few colleges into group a group b group c and group d so and let us see here so if you look at iis bangalore so there are nine colleges here i uh, classified these colleges into group a colleges so here uh, i group these colleges uh, from placement point of view so from research point of view so these are the few top iits you are having and if you see those students who have a score around 700 and 700 plus so those students who have 700 plus they can apply for this iits so if you look at iic bangalore so last year it my so it, so cut off was something around all india rank 80 so top those students who are in top 100 they can apply for this iic bangalore so and apart from that so who are in 200 to 300 so whose rank is between 200 to 300 they can apply for iit mumbai so if you look at this uh, iic bangalore so you are having mtech courses so you have mtech course you have ms course and you have integrated course so in iic bangalore whether it may be mtech or ms or your integrated course so whether it may be a, a core branch or whether it may be an interdisciplinary branch you will be having a written test so first you need to clear this written test after this written test you will be having a personal interview so written test personal interview and then you will be having an admission if i go for this iit mumbai so iit mumbai there are two courses so in iit mumbai you are having two courses so if you look at this iit mumbai you are having two courses in iit mumbai so you are having two courses two different courses in iit mumbai if you see they are so like this what is your ta so one second one is your ra so ta is nothing but your teaching assistantship so your ra is nothing but uh, research assistantship so ta is just similar to your mtech program so mtech program so ta is just uh, similar to your mtech program it's a two years course but here if you see ra so ra is just similar to your ms program so where it's a three years program so it's a three years program so if you want to get an admission in this ra so your grade rank is more than 300 also there 300 or 400 or 500 so there are chances of getting an admission in this ra to get an admission in this ra you will be having a written test uh, followed by a personal interview so for ra so you will be having a written test and personal interview 
and if you look at ta you will be getting an mtech degree here so here in ta so there are many courses if i take uh, industrial engineering so if i take an industrial engineering so in industrial engineering so it's not a core branch it's not a core branch it's a management branch so it's interdisciplinary industrial so in iit mumbai if i take industrial so in industrial you will be having so a group discussion so after group discussion you will be having a personal interview so if i go for thermal also so in thermal also you will be having a written test so after written test you will be having a personal interview so iit mumbai thermal engineering they are conducting a written test and personal interview and if you go for design so if you go for design so there is no design and manufacturing so design and manufacturing there is no personal interview or written test so for manufacturing and design streams they are giving direct admission in iit mumbai so that's it about iit mumbai so here if you see this iic bangalore and iit mumbai so both are good both are good top and uh, these two are mostly those students who got below 100 or below 150 or below 200 they can go for these two colleges so but if you look this iic bangalore research wise iic bangalore is good research wise iic bangalore is good so if you do either an mtech or ms course so scope for research is very high i mean you can get a phd uh, you can enroll for phd in the same college so if you go for iit mumbai so here the research is good considerably iit bangalore is much better compared to your iit mumbai research wise but iit bangalore is uh, by placement wise iit iit mumbai is uh, a good so if you want a good placement if you want a good placement then go for iit mumbai if you want to a good research then choose your iic bangalore and apart from that if you see the other college iit delhi so iit delhi will conduct a separate exam for each and every uh, stream if you apply for thermal they will conduct a separate test for you so if you apply for industrial they will conduct a separate test so if you apply for production you will they will conduct a separate test so iit delhi will conduct separate exam for each and every stream and here iit sorry iit delhi so iit delhi will conduct a separate exam for each and every stream and good thing about iit delhi is for those those students who uh, really want uh, see here uh, those uh, few students might be interested in going for es or as for those students who are interested in uh, either going for engineering services or civil services better choose this iit delhi so placements are good in iit delhi apart from the placements so if you really want to go for es or as so many institutes uh, many good institutes are there in iit delhi so please go for this iit delhi if you are willing for any further competitive exams so uh, if you look at kanpur so kanpur will also conduct a, a written test and personal interview so iit madras so if i take iit madras so you are having two courses one is mtech and second one is your ms so for this ms you will be having so written test and personal interview so iit madras so for ms course you will be having written test and personal interview if you look at mtech so there is no uh, written test or any personal interview in iit madras you will be having a direct uh, admission so for core branches you will be having direct admission in uh, iit madras so if it's an interdisciplinary branch again you will be having a written test so wherever you go if it's an interdisciplinary branch you will definitely will be having a written test followed by an interview so if it's a core branch mostly 90% 90% of the colleges you will be having a direct admission and if you look at this iit karakpur iit rurki and iit gauhati so on all the three college, all the four colleges you will be having a direct admission so direct admission so rurki if you see rurki and gauhati they physically call you for counseling so in the counseling they will directly offer you the admission so i'm better to attend the counseling so it goes for uh, four to five rounds so in first round for design so it may close around 400 or 450 rank but in fifth or sixth round so the rank uh, extends i mean those students who got rank around 1000 those students who got rank around 1000 so there are chances of getting in these colleges iit karakpur or iit roorkee or iit bhu or your gauhati so if your rank is something around 1000 1200 or 1500 in general category so you can expect a seat uh, in this 3 uh, 4 iits so if your rank is uh, below 600 or 700 so you can apply for these colleges so here you, you can close your rank till 500 only so iit mumbai 
so iit delhi it also goes till 500 only so kanpur and madras you can apply if your rank is so 400 500 600 700 also if your rank is around 1000 1200 to 1500 so you can apply for gahoti or roorkee so you will get so this is uh, category a so i recommend all the students who got a score around 750 please look into these colleges so i don't exactly know the ranking this year for this score 750 So if your score is a 750 or 700 and plus, you just look into these colleges. So the, you just apply the, for these colleges. And if you look at this uh, application for each and every IIT, you need to apply separately. Apply separately. So we need to fill in a separate application from IIT Mumbai, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, IIT Madras. Separate application for each and every IIT. And what I suggest is, so those who get good rank in GATE, so please keep on visiting the sites regularly. so this is group a college so coming to this uh, group b so these are the group b colleges so iit hyderabad so is also a fastly growing college so this group b college so before going into this nit you can uh, go for this iit hyderabad so placements are good in this iit hyderabad though it's a new iit so placement wise iit hyderabad is good so here if you come for nits so these four nits so you, these are best i mean for those students who got a rank around 1500 to 2000 or 1000 to 2000 i can simply say those students who got a rank around 1000 to 2000 so if you want to get a good uh, branch i mean if you want to go for a design or thermal so better go for this uh, top iits top nits so if it's beyond you, beyond it's uh, 2000 or 2500 so rest you can go for this this new iits and nits so instead of going for new iits it's better uh, go for this old nits only so in new iits only iit hyderabad is doing good so better go for that so and if you look at this uh, nits so here for nits you are having a common platform for this uh, counseling so if you uh, please visit this uh, website ccmt counseling so all the nits uh, are having a common platform for counseling so iits you need to uh, throw a separate application for each and every iit so for all iits you are having a common platform that is ccmt so you visit the website and you can get the cutoffs for different iits also once you visit the website you can get uh, cutoffs for different iits different branches branch wise same as you will be getting category wise you will get the cutoff for different iits and apart from that so there is one more group i uh, it's group c so those students who got a score around some 550 so they can apply for these colleges so triple it or some it may be a top college in your state you can go for that so those students who got a rank around 450 so score around 450 so those students who get score is around 450 so you can there chances are there to get in this nits now let us look uh, at the departments i mean a uh, preference or de preference of departments so here there are di different departments in mechanical engineering i mean so for mechanical paper so these are the different opportunities you are having so but uh, i classified these preferences based on the placements so um, scope for design and thermal so placement wise and research wise is very high so most of the students love these uh, two streams so one is uh, design and the second one is thermal so for design placements are very high so most stu most of the students love these two streams and here uh, in good college i mean if your if your rank is some 1000 so you can you can i mean probability of getting design probability of getting thermal in a good iit is very difficult so for those students i mean please don't compromise for the college i mean branch is important so don't compromise for the branch you can compromise for the college so college might uh, my rank of the college may not be so good so better you go for the branch which you love so better go for these branches though your college ranking is not that good if you don't get a thermal in iit mumbai so so choose another college so iit kanpur go for iit kanpur go for iit kgp or go for your iit roorkee go for iit gauhati so choose a college where you get the branch you love so don't compromise for the branches and these are the branches you are having and if you look at this uh, manufacturing science production engineering and if you look at this industrial engineering so placements are very good for this industrial engineering so every industry needs an industrial engineer so placements are very high 
so package compared to this design and thermal so uh, in few iits you can get a very good package for this industrial engineering also so material science so placement wise uh, material science is not that good so though your rank is some 2000 or 3000 you can get a very a good iit you can get good iit so if you choose this material science so placement wise material science is not that good so here uh, there are uh, cases so i mean um, iit roorkee one of my friend so one of, one of my friend he's, uh, he did his metallurgy science metallurgy and material science so he got a very good placement of some 10 lakhs package see it's uh, a different case i mean probability of getting placement is very less if you get a placement in material science so the package will be very good but the chances of getting a placement in material science is very less so most of the students won't prefer this so instead of going for this branch in a good college so go for this branch in some other colleges so now uh, let us see some interdisciplinary interdisciplinary courses so these are the interdisciplinary courses where you can apply mechanical engineers can apply so here for all these interdisciplinary courses you will be having a written test followed by a personal interview and of all these uh, interdisciplinary courses aerospace so aerospace the scope for research is very high aerospace and cad cam and robotics is also very high so please go for this uh, cad cam robotics and uh, aeronautical engineering so automobile iit chennai is good so iit madras is good so so these are preferable if you want you can go for aerospace automobile and your cad cam so so these are uh, good nuclear engineering it's good but so i don't know about placements for this nuclear engineering so these are the interdisciplinary courses where you can apply so now let us see the few management courses so these are the management courses which you are having which you can apply through gate score if you see uh, pgdi in niti so niti mumbai uh, so we are having a course post graduation so diploma in industrial engineering so it's very good if you, it's very good so it's an industrial engineering uh, so if you look at this course so post graduation diploma in industrial engineering so this course is interdisciplinary so anyone can apply so mechanical can apply production can apply civil can apply cs can apply anyone can apply for this course so for this course they will conduct a group discussion they will conduct a group discussion so from that group discussion they will shortlist you so after group discussion you will be having a personal interview and then they will offer you an admission so those students who are having a gate score above 700 or 750 so those students who are having a gate score above 700 or 750 so can apply for this uh, course in niti mumbai so here this college is uh, almost equal to your uh, old iits is almost equal to your old iits so if you look at the package so if you do thermal engineering in iit delhi or thermal engineering in iit mumbai so the package may not uh, be uh, this much so here in pgdie you are having very good packages niti mumbai you are having very good package if you see the last year in 2015 so the package minimum package was something around you know, 13 lakh rupees so the maximum it went around 1.5 lakh us dollars so so placement wise so niti mumbai is good so on, you'll, you can get a very good package here also but here so if you go for this niti mumbai they will uh, look your communication skills also and once you are applying for this niti mumbai if your score is around 750 or 700 if your gate score is around 700 so group discussion so communication skills are very important if you look at the personal interview in this personal interview they will ask questions from your or industrial engineering operation research so they will ask questions from those areas so when while going for this uh, interview so please uh, go through those subjects or and your industrial engineering so here uh, please go through those topics i mean the interview is little bit tougher i mean they will ask really tough questions from or just go through and if you look at the interviews in iit so, so you will get a very good experience once you attend an interview in an iit and here so don't worry about the interviews they will ask very basic questions they will ask very basic questions if you apply for thermal so they will ask only from uh, thermal engineering background so they will ask only basic questions don't worry about the interview but uh, one thing i would like to say don't uh, relax don't relax after gate i mean most of the students they will be doing party so i mean those who got a rank around 1000 or 150 so they will be enjoying a lot so even i did that so please don't do that so every now and then you keep on visiting this iit websites so to see the notifications and apart from that so don't stop your preparation so continue that so it will help for your interview
and here apart from that so in iit kgp also it's offering there are few other iits few iits they offer industrial engineering course so you can take that industrial engineering course so placements are good for industrial engineering so apart from all iits niti mumbai is best for industrial engineering i mean placement wise it's the best and here uh, if you want to go for your foreign education so there are few universities uh, in singapore and germany so they are offering uh, uh, they accept your gate score so they give admission based on your gate score so those students who have a percentile 90 percentile and above so i mean it may the rank may go around some 3000 or 4000 so for those students who have a percentile above 90 90 percentile so they can apply for this uh, universities in singapore and germany so in singapore there are two universities one is nus national university of singapore and second one is ntu so if you look at the ranking of this ntu and nus so they are far better than your iits and here uh, it's a little bit costly uh, to manage this education in nus and ntu why because cost of living in singapore is very high so, so those students who are, who are having a very good financial background so they can go for this nus or ntu so in german so education is free so for other students who could not get a good rank but the gate uh, is 90 percentile above so they can go for some german universities they accept your gate score so there you can manage your higher education in germany and here if you look at this application uh, applications for ngos or ntu will be open in september october so something around september and october so in september october you just look at them so you can have see the notification so 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 with this we complete the higher education part and the next module is your research see i will answer to your questions so once i complete this so at the end i will answer to your questions so coming to your research so those students who are really interested in doing research so they can earn so money also while doing research so here there are few options for doing research see here those students who rank is above 2500 so your rank is above 2500 so csir will release a separate notification for jrf srf and your uh, what we say integrated mtech and phd courses so it will release a separate notification so those students who qualified gate uh, or uh, national eligibility test net so net will be in december so it's already done so next december it again conducts an exam so those students who qualified gate or net so they don't uh, rank is not that important so you rank maybe some 2500 or 3500 so you can get this jrf so once you enroll for this jrf in csir so scope for research is uh, very high here so you can even register once you complete your jrf so you can register for phd also so here while doing jrf you will be paid a stipend of 25000 rupees so if you enroll for integrated mtech and phd course you will be getting 28000 so apart from this uh, stipend you will be getting uh, hre also house rent allowance also in drdo they will release a separate notification see it depends on the project if they are having projects so they will release a notification if they are not having any projects they don't release so i mean it's not a guarantee that every year they are going to release a notification for jrf so if they get a new projects so then they will release a notification for jrf and srf drdo so they are also they will give a, a stipend of some 2500 so 25000 plus you will be getting an hre also and here i can say that this jrf is exactly equivalent to your mtech it's not mtech it's equivalent to your mtech so apart from that so you are having a bark also so bark so bark recruits through gate so bark so bark recruits through gate those students who uh, who rank is around 1200 1300 general category so students in general category who rank gate rank is around some 1300 1200 so bark will call bark will call them in bark if you see so bark will conduct a separate exam also bark will conduct a separate exam also they will shortlist the students based on your gate score or your performance in the bark exam and here uh, in bark if i take bark uh, drdo and iso drdo also gave a notification this year they are also recruiting through gate apart from the jrf so they are they will give a scientist b so here if you see uh, bark so after getting shortlisted so bark they will conduct a separate interview so here the technical interview is a technical interview so bark interview will be wonderful i mean you can enjoy it a lot so so some 15 members will be sitting in the panel so you can enjoy the interview and here in bark so there are two courses so one is one year course and second one is two years course so once you complete the course so you will be appointed as a scientific officer c 
so it's a gazetted post you will be paid something around 60000 and here for those students whose rank is around 1200 so so chances are there uh, to get a call from bark and here in bark they don't look at your gate score or gate rank they don't look at they, they don't consider all these things so they don't consider your btech uh, percentile or your intermediate percentage they don't consider anything they only look at your performance in the interview so choose a subject and prepare in the subject so i mean become strong in that subject once before going to this uh, bark so mostly they will ask you questions from your design so design is strength of materials thermal engineering so try to uh, become perfect in these three areas so interview interview will be very good here in isro drdo and uh, bark so interview matters they don't consider your uh, written score so weightage for written is zero so whether you may be air one or so maybe air 1200 you may be the last rank or you may be the first rank or they don't care so just your performance matters over that so this this is all about bark and here up if you see on the last module is your uh, psus and here uh, those students i mean whose rank is below 500 so students of general category whose rank is below 500 so it's not that the students above 500 are not going to get any psu so for those students who are uh, below 500 and 500 and 500 below so so many psus will call them so uh, many psus will call them i mean so four or five psus will call you and so apart from those four or five psus chances of selection in one psu is granted i mean so probability of getting a psu is very high those students who are below 500 i mean probability is very very high and those students who are uh, between 500 and 1000 so probability of getting a psu is very less i mean it's not Uh, very less i mean it's not that you don't get a psu there are students who got into ongc last year whose rank is 700 800 900 also so here chances are very less please uh, uh, don't uh, keep hope on this psus you please apply for iits also you will get psus so if you get psus it's okay wonderful so if you don't get psus so you must join somewhere right so so for all students who are below 500 or above 500 you please apply for all iits so all iits all iits you are even attend for ccmt counseling also so it doesn't harm you so if your rank is below 500 so definitely you are going to get but if your rank is above 500 so chances are very less and if you see there are few uh, companies last year if you see ongc so ongc called it till 1400 rank ongc called it till 1400 so and if i take this uh, iocl iocl also called it till 1400 so they called it till 1400 so i don't know till which rank the selection ended so in psus your uh, written score in gate uh, matters a lot so 85% weightage will be given for your written score in psus so bark drdo iso they don't consider your written score but all the other psus they will consider your written score so written score matters a lot in psus that is the reason why so for students above 500 why because so compared to the students who are below 500 who got some 84 or 85 86 87 marks so their weightage will be very high so chances of selection is high for them and for these students chances of selection is low so so on a safer side you can you please apply for iits and nits also and here if you see the mode of recruitment few iits uh, they will conduct a personal interview so they will conduct a personal interview the interview will not be that difficult uh, if you see so compared to your uh, iis bangalore interview or your a uh, drdo interview or isro interview or bark interview so the interview which is conducted in psu is not that tough it's very easy so you can manage the interview so they give very huge weightage for your uh, gate score only and here if you see when you see last year uh, the score for st- those students who general category score so in general category those students who got a score around 706 above 706 all the students were called for interview i mean uh, so for this score last year the rank was some 1400 i guess this year the rank is much better it's something around 900 1000 and vizag steel plant earlier it used to conduct a separate exam so now it's recruiting through gate so hindustan ship builders so uh, see here this is not a constant i mean so they don't every year recruit through gate so at times they recruit through gate so and they give they can give a separate notification also so sail and hindustan ship, ship builders uh, limited so both the notifications will come at a time so please uh, look at this and here magazon doc limited if you see i have few id uh, few psus so on the last rank so where the selection happened so here at 350 in general category it was closed this is a closing rank 
National Fertilizer Limited, they are recruiting through GATE 2006-15, so it's still going on. So the recruitment is not finalized. So recently they gave the notification. So apart from this, so you are having IOCL, BPCL, uh, HPCL. So IOCL they called till 1,400 rank. So they called it till 1,400 rank. In general category they called till 1,400 rank. But if you see, so the closing rank in general category, the closing rank for this management trainee is 143 something around. It's below 150. So they call it till 1400, so, but the closing rank was some 143 only. And if you look at BC, BPCL, uh, the closing rank is some 650. HPCL, the closing rank is 75 marks. So Gale, the closing rank is 358. 350 NDBC, the closing rank is uh, 350. So I could not find the data for the other PSUs. So those students who got a rank, uh, general category student whose rank is below 1200 or below 1500, so you can apply for all the PSUs. I mean, chances are there. Chances for selection are there. So it's not that you should not apply. So you apply all the PSUs, so chances of selection are there. So it's not 100%, chances are there. So that's it. So if you have any queries, you can post now. If you look at, uh, there is one more program, so management program I said. So management program, one is your NITI Mumbai, so PGDIE. So you can go for that, so you, you can have a very good placement. So apart from that, few IITs, they are offering your industrial engineering course. So you can choose that industrial engineering course. There also you will be getting a good package. So apart from that, there is one more course in your IIMs, that is fellowship program in management. So fellowship program in management, the application will be open from September to January. So it, uh, it will be from September to January, they will be recruiting. So they will give a very large gap. for the, uh, op They will open the application for two, three months. So you can apply for that, but it's a five years course. So once you apply for this fellowship program in management, so there you will be getting a good stay fund. So, but it's a five, five years course. That's the only uh, difference. But you, will, you can get a very good package. I mean, what is a stay fund? So some 35,000 around. So in CSIR, uh, when, once you apply for GRF in CS, uh, CSIR, or you enroll for SRF, or you enroll for integrated course in CSIR, you will be getting a stay fund. Apart from that stay fund, you will get some uh, 20,000 in the fund uh, for your books and all those things. So now uh, let me see your queries. You can post your queries. See, uh, if you look at this MSc and MS, so there is no difference between MS and MSc. So for science students, so we call it as MSc, and for technical students, I mean B.Tech students, so for B.Sc we call it as MS, MSc, for B.Tech we call it as MS, that's the difference, but there is no much difference. So both are research-oriented courses only. Sir, in IISC there is one more course called as MSc. So in mechanical engineering, apart from MS, so that's the difference. There is no much difference between MSc and MS. So for the science students, we call it as MSc. For technical students, we call it as Bachelor of Technology, we call it as MS. So both are research-oriented courses. So the tenure will be around three years only. So if you are very smart, you can complete within so one and a half year or 1.8 years. But it uh, mostly it goes for three years. See, written test and what will be the written test and personal interviews in IIT? See, uh, written test and personal interviews. So, few IITs, uh, what they do is if I take uh, IIT Kanpur. So, IIT Kanpur, they will conduct a common written test. So, whether you are applying for a thermal or whether you are applying for design or whether you are applying for uh, some other branch, so they will uh, conduct a common written test for you people and they will shortlist you. And based on that, they call you for personal interview. If I take IIT Delhi, so they will conduct a separate written test. For thermal, those students who are applied for thermal, they will conduct a separate written test. For those students who are applied for production engineering, they will conduct a separate exam. So it depends on the IIT. So mostly they will be asking uh, technical questions only. If it's uh, uh, industrial engineering, if you apply for industrial engineering, so when you apply for industrial engineering, they will, if they conduct a written test, so mostly they will conduct a written test. So they will ask questions from your probability, uh, probability and your OR questions. You will be given some OR questions and some probability questions. 
so you need to answer them so mostly uh, the test will be uh, somewhere close to your mathematics only mathematics or or so from placement point of view uh, which specialization to take so if you see from placement point of view so mostly design uh, you will be having very good placements so the package will also be very good if you go for design apart from that so you can go for this uh, thermal engineering also so compared to uh, design in thermal engineering uh, i mean so you you will be having placements in thermal engineering also but compared to design compared to design so placements in thermal engineering are very less so if you want uh, i mean so if you want a cool life then go for design so if you want to enter some psu like ndpc or some thermal in, uh, engineering company then you go for your thermal or fluid so uh, if you want to get, take a good placement so apart from these two courses industry engineering also one more course so where you are having a very good uh, package so but that's a management job so few students might not be interested in this management jobs you can go for the, i mean i said there are few psus if you see bpcl hpcl iocl so you can go for those psus in those psus so the profile is not a technical profile it's completely uh, it is completely a management profile it's completely a management profile so if you work in those psus iocl or bpcl for 2 3 years and then if you write gate and if you join some iim so you can have a very good future so if you go for iit mumbai what kind of packages you are going to get in iit mumbai if you are from a core branch so definitely you are going to get a package of a minimum package of some 10 lakh uh, per annum see if you look at the uh, call letters so the uh, it's see uh, you need to apply for all the iits so whose rank is below 1000 or 1500 so general category student whose rank is below 1500 you better apply for all the iits you leave iic bangalore apart from iic bangalore you can apply for all the iits so they will uh, give a cut off score so once you apply they will give a cut off score according to that so if you are shortlisted in that cut off score you will get a mail so on that mail they will specify everything so when you will be having interview when you will be having the written test so where you need to book the room everything they will discuss in that uh, mail only so first you need to apply when once you apply so then only you are going to get a an email so for attending that interview or personal interview or admission whatever it may be so if you don't apply though your rank may be one they don't they are not going to call you see here uh, whatever may be the iit it depends on your interest so one student asked nadi madras which is better mtech or ms see it depends for uh, depends on the students if you are interested in research you can go for ms if you are interested in placement then you can go for uh, mtech that's it so i love research i will go for i don't bother about placements then i will go for ms only so i'm not interested in research i love placements then i definitely go for this m tech only it depends on the person uh, so what he want to do after the course no sir see in nit is uh, mostly you will not be having any written test or interview a few nits they will conduct so if i say nit varangal so they conduct at times i mean regularly they don't do that so at times they will be doing that so can we use this year uh, score to get admitted into niti mumbai next year yeah so gate score is valid for 3 years so in those 3 years you can apply for niti mumbai whenever you want so they need a valid gate score that's it so how is placement in uh, nits and iits so for mtech and ms so if you see ms so, so most of the companies don't prefer ms students so they will be they will give more importance for this mtech students only and if you see how are the placements in nits see in top nits definitely you will be getting a placement so it's not that once you are in nit you will be getting a 100% placement so only the students who perform well in that particular branch whether it may be thermal or design so might be if there are eight students in your branch so if you are in top four definitely you are going to get a placement so otherwise you are not going to get a placement and here for those students who got a rank around 3500 or 4000 you you can get some nits so they are not that good 
so but uh, by doing that mtech you can prepare for gate and you can get a good rank in the next year in uh, that's 2017 gate so uh, once you enter into nit it's not uh, don't waste your time you keep on preparing for gate so there are chances there are many students i have seen many students who took an admission in nit warangal nit trichy nit suratkal jaipur raurkela they didn't even complete their mtech so in the second year itself many students uh, got this ongc last year last year many many students joined ongc i was here so it's not that once you take an admission in nit warangal or some nits so it's not that you have to complete your mtech there so if you perform well and get very next year so you can get a placement so you can get some psu also see your gate score is some 571 so you can apply for your triple it in your state so for 571 score you can apply for triple it or some state universities in your state that's it yeah mostly if you are within 100 so psu is confirmed so why because most of the psus uh, 85 percentage uh, given weightage is given for your written test if you are within 100 so you will be having a very good uh, uh, percentage from your gate score itself so though you perform well or not so you can get a psu So excuse me. See here, what's the cutoff for IIT BHU? See here, uh, if you want to join uh, BHU, so if your rank is something around thousand, uh, so nine hundred, thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred, so so uh, if you want to get thermal engineering, it should be around nine hundred only. So if you want to choose another branches, uh, so might be another core branch. So your rank is something around twelve hundred also. So scope is there. so if you want to go for bhu it bhu you can apply for it rurki and it gauhati also both are standing on the same place see psu interview uh, you so depends on the company which you are going so mostly uh, they will be asking uh, your favorite subject they, whatever may, whatever the psu you may go so first they ask what is your favorite subject so mostly they will be asking questions from your favorite subject only so they don't ask questions from other parts so uh, choose a subject and prepare that that's it mostly material so mostly they will be asking questions from this metallurgy also so once one is your favorite subject second is your uh, material science and production are important so your favorite subject material science and production just go through those uh, three so you can do well in your uh, interview in psus so can a get score of 369 Uh, get you in any nit uh, sorry friend so with this gate score i mean 369 so chance of getting in uh, nit is very less so what i recommend you you, you is you please continue your preparation so uh, bel will conduct a separate exam so engineers india limited will conduct a separate exam isro will conduct a separate exam you just focus on them so don't waste your time uh see here your rank uh, so my rank is 3448 so is it advisable to take ms so my importance is placement uh, see here if your importance is placement then uh, better not to go for this so it's not that you don't get a placement uh, if you do ms you will get a placement if you do ms if any company prefers a research oriented student so but mostly the companies are not preferring uh, research oriented students so they want only uh, technology so so they prefer mtech students so but for your rank so you can get a ms in some good college so if you want a good college then go for your ms so if you want to compromise for the college so then go for your mtech if you compromise you need to compromise for the placement and you need to compromise for the if you compromise for the placement you will get a good college so if you don't want to compromise for the placement So then choose a college where you get mtech so mostly you will be getting an mtech degree from an nit is it good to uh, choose to prepare for gate ies etc so after admission to mtech so for low rank people yes so absolutely so it's a good question my friend see there are many students so many examples if you see 
the topper of this year if you see the topper i don't remember his name nishant bansal something so if you see last year his march was some 64 so this year he topped he rank is all india 1 so for 64 marks for 71 marks the in 2015 get the rank was something around 1400 so for 64 it might it might be around some 2500 or 3000 so so just after one year so he turned 1 so you can also do that i mean you can also create miracles so if you i mean if you don't give up so if you still continue your preparation so there are our chances are very high to get a good rank in the very next year so so do you have any information regarding ni fft uh, sorry friend i don't have any information see here if you want any information if you want any information uh, regarding any course or um, in any iit or any institute so you can directly write to the professors you can directly write to the professors so for asking them in detail about the course so which they are offering so they will definitely reply you if your language is good they will definitely reply you i mean so they don't uh, neglect your mail so you can write to any professor so they will definitely reply you sir my gate score is some air so 7155 so 155 what should i do uh, my friend your gate rank is very less so is something around uh, 7000 so you can apply to the last category colleges so other colleges i gave so there are some other colleges see here there are some private colleges if i take beach uh, beach pilani beach goa so so you are having very good placements over there so you can try those colleges so beach will conduct a separate exam you can appear for that so then you can go there so instead of going for some uh, state level colleges so your state universities is better recommended for you to go this go to this bits so i got a gate score of 702 so can i uh, get this new iits so with rank of 2200 so uh, definitely my friend so if you compromise for the branch you will definitely get uh, an iit so for mechanical engineering good thing is that so though your rank goes till 2000 you can manage to get some iits so if you compromise for the branch see here it's uh, so which is better iocl bpcl or ndpc see my friend it depends on your uh, interest so if you want to go for a man management profile so bpcl iocl both are both uh, in both the companies you will be having management profile and ntpc so you can uh, use your technical knowledge in ntpc so if you want to have a core job then go for ntpc so if you want to have a management job so then go for bpcl or iocl so for if you, uh, for those students who are going for management courses bpcl or iocl so they can have a work experience of 2 to 3 years and they can go for uh, some iim so and then they can settle so that's one good chance for those students and if you want to work in technical side then you can go for ntpc or if you want money so choose the company which is paying more and go for that so my gate score is 704 and rank is 2225 any suggestions for mtech uh, which college to apply so i want to study uh, machine design see my friend uh, you got a rank around some 2225 so chances of uh, getting machine design in a good college is a uh, little difficult you please attend at ccmt counseling you apply for new iits so all the new iits you apply for all the new iits and you apply for you attend this ccmt counseling so chances are there though you may not get in first round so don't get disappointed if you don't get uh, machine design in first round so in ccmt it goes till second round i mean it goes till 6th 7th 8th 9th also so be patient so you may get a machine design in good college so if you wait till fifth or sixth rounds so my gate score is uh, 768 so my rank is 1026 can i get aerospace in top iits yeah yes my friend you can get aerospace in top engineering colleges so mostly very few students prefer this aerospace engineering so you can get chances are very high
sir what about scope of so vit so if you go for a vit you will definitely get a placement so i can't say you will get a core job but you will definitely get some software software so you may get some so mahindra and hyundai so but the cd uh, the package which they are paying at vit is very less some 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs mahindra will also pay the same thing so 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs that's it see ha sir how to select good college in state see it depends on you so it depends on your state i how how do i know that so so from state to state it differs so, so i can't exactly say so but i have given a list i collected the data so i i gave a list so if you want you can just go through the video again so just you look at the list so i displayed uh, the colleges according to their performance so you can choose the college accordingly so for a rank of 1500 so can i get thermal manufacturing in any iit nit so for a rank of uh, 1500 so yes my friend definitely there are chances so you can get thermal and design if you apply for nits so in world nits you will definitely get very good nit you will be getting uh, thermal and design don't worry so but you you should be pa be patient for uh, fourth or fifth rounds so you you can get a design or thermal in the very first round in uh, an nit so which is not that good so if you want to go for uh, nit warangal or nit surat uh, what we say nit trichi warangal trichi so for those uh, and it is you need to wait for till fourth or fifth round so or so better attend for spot counseling also you can get in nit warangal chances are there for 1500 rank so can i get thermal engineering so in new iits so with a gate score of 706 yeah uh, thermal engineering is little difficult in a, with your score 706 in iits you better go for this nits so you can you will get a very good nit so where you can get this thermal engineering yeah my friend i'm closing the session so if you have any doubts you can uh, text here so info so at the rate so if you have any doubts further you can text here and thank you so once again i would like to congratulate the toppers i mean so those who got good rank in gate and for those students who could not uh, manage so please don't uh, get disappointed so it's not the last uh, point i mean so there are many examples where students could not perform well but they later they performed well so there are one of my friend his name is uh, rakesh sharma in 2013 if you, if you see the toppers list so he topped gate 2013 so before that he, uh, in 2012 also he appeared his rank was some 2500 gate to uh, gate rank is some 2500 in the very next year he managed to get air one so you can do well so in the next attempt or if you continue your preparation so don't stop your preparation so still there are some 4 5 months for isro isro will conduct in september or october so you please crack isro so, i mean chances are very high and if you look at ssc j so ssc j paper will be very easy and apart from that so engineers india limited so the competition is very less in engineers india limited so bark uh, bel will conduct a separate exam steel authority of india will conduct a separate exam hindustan shipyard limited will conduct a separate exam so there are many opportunities your state uh, uh, also may conduct some exams during this period so don't get disappointed so please uh, continue your preparation so continue your preparation till you get what you want so if you want an iit so don't stop your preparation till you get till, till you get an admission in iit so your your score may be very good so you should perform well in the interview also so so don't stop your preparation till you get an iit if your aim is iit so if your aim is a psu don't stop your preparation till you get a psu so don't relax so that's what i would like to say and thank you